Like all staff working at the University of Auckland, I'm aware of security issues when it comes to emails and online presence. But I must admit, I assume I'm being kept safe by those clever people at IT. Sure, I get dodgy emails once in a while, but something tells me it's only the tip of the iceberg. In this video, we're going to show you the common ways we are under attack on a daily basis. The kinds of attacks that are trying to get at passwords, uh, are trying to relieve you of your money. The person was able to access my credit card details. It is a massive problem. 1.7 million. Yes. I'm curious about this. Let's go see the people that keep us safe. I'm meeting with Hene Hatama, who has the daunting task of keeping the cyber criminals away from our precious data. How many emails do you catch throughout the university? That would be about 9 out of 10 emails at the moment are in the, in the bad category that doesn't get delivered to the end user. And how many emails in total is that on a daily basis? 1.7 million is what we hold. 1.7 million? Yes. That was interesting. It's some serious amount of threat. But I'm a smart guy. I'll see spam coming my way. Do you know where the term phishing comes from? It's like fishing for information. So you put out a bait and you hope to get something. This is an example of a phishing attack. Unknowingly, you provide a criminal with your login detail. That's your username and password, which allows someone to infiltrate the university network or to send spam. There are some telltale signs that this is a fake one though. It's generic. It says, dear user, instead of addressing you by name, and comes from an organization, but no specific sender. It suggests urgency, making you feel you need to act now. Although the links look genuine, if you hover over it and it shows a different address, don't go there. In fact, in general, if you're asked to enter your credentials, be very aware. And scammers are not afraid to go right to the top. I'm about to meet with the vice chancellor, who's well aware of the impact it can have on the university as a whole. So I think part of it is about uh, accessing our IP. So we generate a lot of information, new ideas, things we're going to commercialise. But also there may be work that's being done in research terms here that would be of interest to organisations overseas. Ransomware is unauthorized and hostile software that silently installs itself on your computer. It's spread via infected email attachments. It can also get installed on your machine if you visit a website that may be running malicious code. Shirley Tan was stung Hi. by trying to help a colleague. I tried to help him by opening the file and apparently it asking me to download some of the attachment, but once I tried to help him, it just encrypted all my files. It encrypted all your files? Yeah. Just your files? Or? No, it's including the network drive one as well, which is I, yeah. So everybody that was on your network as well? Yes, we're and just sharing the network drive. With and me. why would they want to encrypt everybody's files like that? What's their point? I think they're looking for money. That was quite a sobering story. So how do you sniff out ransomware? Check the sender. They are often from an important source. They are often urgent and sent at the end of the day, hoping you are reading it on your phone and not really paying attention. Be particularly wary of emails asking for payment. They often have an attachment which looks genuine but is actually a virus when you open it. Also, if it comes from an iPad, this can be a telltale sign. It takes a bit of time and some effort to get in the proper mindset. I'm meeting with Jackie, who's been duped in the past. The first time that my computer was hacked, I was actually working in Baratonga and um, got an email from the University of Auckland asking me to reset my password. Yes. Um, thought nothing of it <laughs> um, and, and consequently did. Yes. Um, and I think through that, the person was able to access my credit card details. And um, my credit card was actually declined at the airport as I was trying to leave. Right. So, things to look out for. Check if you can see the padlock icon shown somewhere on your browser. The web address begins with HTTPS, like this one. On your university computer, make sure the antivirus software is working. Most staff computers are set up to make sure you get the latest security updates. 
And of course you need to make sure that you're protected when you're using your computer at home. Do you have an antivirus installed? If you don't, the university has free work at home software available. Remember that if you save your important data only on your personal computer, you run the risk of losing it permanently. Be careful when using USB sticks or external drive because that's a way to infect other computers. The best place to save your most important data is at work. Save it on a university managed folder, like your home drive or a shared folder. These folders are backed up, secure and managed by IT. If you're going away from your working area, make sure to lock your computer. On a PC, you do this with Ctrl Alt Delete, and on a Mac, you just put it to sleep. So to log back in, you need to enter your password. Never share your password with anyone, verbally or by email. Never write your password down. If you want to store your password online, you can learn how to do this via the password manager link on the Safe Computing website. Now, if you think you've received a threatening email or your machine has been hacked, you should stop using your computer and lock your desktop. Control Alt Delete. Then phone the staff service center straight away. They will give you instructions on what to do next. And if you receive an email from a university staff member and are unsure why you have received it and what the email is asking you to do, pick up the phone and give that staff member a ring to check. Don't click on any links in the email if you're not sure. So remember, if it looks suspicious or too good to be true, it probably is. So stay safe out there. And if you need any more information, check out the website.